here with the Reds since 2014. Melanie Parra serving for Texas, top 10 in the nation in aces with 26, and there's one to start off this match. So you talked about the number of aces, and it, it's really just such a unique serve. She's got power on it, she's got some spin on it, some float on it, very difficult to handle. Now a team high, 27 aces on the season for Parra. 28, just the start Parra and the Horns wanted. And for those that have been watching Texas Volleyball, she's been getting some aces, but she's been a little on and up and down with this serve. But Coach Elliott said that she's just steadying out and is better and better from the service line. She is on tonight here at Gregory Gym. And that night against TCU, Salima. Well, they're doing it from every single part of the game. It started at the, the first two sets of that success they did in the second match. See how TCU responds after the timeout. Asia. Raiola. Gabriel sets it up. Couple of kills so far tonight. Another ace for Para, her third. The Longhorns came into this one third in the nation in service aces, and that trend continuing. Well, once the flight of this ball comes off her hand, it takes a little bit of a curve, and it's got some power behind it, too. It's hard, to, too hot to handle. Para unstoppable right now. Texas bump setting a couple of those out of system balls really tight, but can still find a way to, to hit the floor. Eggleston leads all players with five kills. Para, again with three aces so far. 29 on the season. And that one into the net. Point, Texas! That, that ball was, didn't end up clearing the net at all. So Longhorns up 17-8 in this one. Again, this is a TCU that shouldn't be worrying necessarily about Texas. And they set up Riola. Power is the Kramer squad. One and three in Big 12 play. Texas 4-0. Para started off the night on fire with two straight aces to begin the match. The dig by Para. Megan Eggleston with uh, controlling that ball in the middle back. Gabriel getting there, sliding on her knees. The night bump, nice bump set to the outside. Para with the team high five digs. Three aces in three service areas of their own. Riola charging in. Taylor Riola, the sophomore from Scottsdale. Weight room and how they load and mentally how they train throughout the year. You have to have a training schedule that leads you to peak at the very end of the season. B. Ball with the dig. Set point for the Horns. And this car has started off the night with two aces. Another great crowd here at Gregory Gym. Dennison diving in. Free ball for Texas. Butler. And Texas takes set. Now the back row as well and see if they get a chance to use her a little bit. Butler Riola. A big impact tonight. Team leading eight. Gabriel Parra. Tapped over. Oh, sliding in front was Danny Dennison with the dig. Sensational play by the grad student. Uh, but it's over by Adams. Para off the net and good. Point Texas. Texas got two players in the back row right now that can score. You see Para and Fields both taking their approach at the same time. One blocker in front of Para. That's a good look at it there. Viola with the serve. And 
Ellis in. Adams punches it over. Ara save that one, diving for it on the. Adams. Back and forth. Definitely been a battle. CU players bumping into each other. Para, there's your match. Texas improves to 14 and 0 on the season. Conference play: TCU seven and eight, one and four in the Big 12, and we are underway. Para started off the match last night with two straight aces. Here is Eggleston, tapped over by Adams. Logan Eggleston. Big thing tonight. It's something that a lot of teams do across the country. And Para diving for that one on the back row. Para top 15 in the nation in hitting percentage. Crowd comes alive after that one. Here's Melanie Para. 29 aces to lead the Longhorns. This Nine aces to lead the Longhorns this year. Raiola. Eggleston, too much. Like in the transition right now for Texas. This ball is dug pretty close to the net. Melanie Parra, top 10 in the nation in aces with 29. Had three, about 24 hours. Jill Kramer might be challenging this call, looking for... Every time Texas went on a run last night, in each of the three sets, TC... Knowles. Dennison. Raiola, who we have not heard much from. And that does happen when you have a new combination on the court. They've been practicing in it, but it's different when you're out here on the floor right now. Para serving. And there with the dig. Eggle. Para with the ace. Texas's eighth of the night. That's two big serves from Para right out of the timeout. Well, for Melanie Parra, that is her 30th ace of the season. Top 10 in the country. She always has that poker face. You would never know what the score of the match is, whether she had an ace or a service error, but she continues to get it done from behind the service line. Well, it's just such a different serve. There's so much. 4-0 run for Texas. <laughs> Parra had three aces last night, and she does it in bunches. Three more tonight. Well, she gets in a rhythm. You can see her toss. It's consistent. It's the same toss every time. And then she can put some, some spin on it and some funk on that ball. Texas with 10 aces. Can they save this one? She is in a zone right now. Melanie Parra. Paro, the sophomore from Mexico. I remember when this ball comes from right to left. You have to be able to cut it off. You see the passers kind of facing the crowd. They have to get that shoulder around the ball. It's the only way to bring it back into the court. Paro with seven aces in the last TCU. Another match point for Texas. Kahina Torres, Melanie Para, there's your match. Another straight sets win for the Longhorns.